Hey, what's up? This is Ryan McKenzie, and today I'm going to show you how to insert dynamic UTMs into your TikTok ads so that you can have data consistency inside Google Analytics and properly track your attribution. And before I get too carried away, if you like this type of content and you want to see ways that you can optimize your e-commerce brand or D2C business, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, please, please, please leave a comment below. So this is super important when you're using TikTok, regardless whether you're using the standard pixel, which only tracks the current session, or whether you're using the developer pixel, which tracks multiple sessions. The platform, since iOS 14.5, is not gonna catch all your purchases. If you go and look in your Google Analytics, if you have any sort of TikTok ads uh, UTM set up currently, if you go and look and you looked at the model, modeled attribution between first and the last click, we're seeing about a 12.5% difference in between the first and last click conversion, which means that the TikTok ads could be performing very well top of funnel, which lead to a purchase, or TikTok's just not tracking those purchases at all. So you could be getting better efficiency than you might think. You can also take a look at the assisted conversion report under multi-channels funnel to get a better idea of exactly how many assists TikTok might be providing your business. So to get started, basically what we're going to be showing you is how to insert dynamic UTM parameters in your ads. So TikTok, just like Facebook, has a number of macros that you can insert. There are seven of them to be exact. We've got uh, campaign names, the name of the campaign, the campaign ID, the name of the ad group ID, the name of the ad or creative, the creative ID, and placement type. By using these... In your UTM, you'll be able to dynamically inject the TikTok like campaign ID or the campaign name or the creative ID directly in your UTM so you don't have to fumble around with some kind of fancy taxonomy that you could make a typo in. And then when you dig into Google Analytics in the future to get a better understanding of your data, it's going to be difficult to, to unravel. So the biggest reason I like using dynamic UTMs is it because it gives me consistency in my data and makes it very easy for me to report and dig into uh, my Google Analytics. So how do you set these up? So you go to the ad level on TikTok and you go down to the destination page, um, which I have here. So this is uh, one of our, our store pages. And then just like you would normally put your UTMs in, I will have all, all the UTMs in the description, but this is the UTM that we put in. So UTM source equals TikTok, UTM medium is TikTok ads. And then on the UTM campaign level, we put the campaign ID dynamic UTM parameter macro, and we use UTM content for the creative ID. So what this does is this is going to inject the campaign ID when I look up campaigns inside Google Analytics. And when I look up ad content in Google Analytics, it's going to inject the campaign ID from this campaign. Then I can reference the campaign ID, sorry, the, the creative ID or the ad ID against Google Analytics to see which exact piece of creative is driving the sales and comparing it to TikTok to see if it's telling me the appropriate ad to scale. A lot of times we see the numbers don't 100% match up. With that said, if you like this video, I do have another one on Facebook ads, which goes a little bit deeper into how to actually look at the reporting and do the comparisons. If you want to know more about that, the link is down below in the description and I'll put it in the end card as well. But if you like this video, please, please subscribe if you want me to create more content like this. Also hit that like button and leave a comment if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.